This demonstration is going to bring you into our online classroom. It's very easy to navigate. First, if you look over here, you'll see an orientation. The preparation for the course, introductions, a glossary, a document that just gives you information on a piece of paper that is for your reference. And here is the syllabus of the course, the outline. A way to communicate and receive news and communicate with other students and your teachers. The body of the classroom opens up a new topic every week. This is the third week, Earth Angels, the topic on vegetables. Over here, I can choose to open the entire classroom and have all my assignments and reading materials available to me at once. The first week, Unit 1, introduces the language of cooking without recipes. It teaches the grammar and alphabet of cooking. What I'd like to point out is that each time we open a new unit every week, the format is the same. There are reading assignments. Intuitive Cooking is the textbook that you receive with your materials. There are documents. This tells you the tools and cookware to set up your kitchen. To go back to the classroom, you can go to the bottom here, MC1. You can go up to the top, MC1. Or you can go to the back arrow, as you would in any navigation. Another beautiful reading assignment comes from the little green book. Now these are books, but they're not hard copy books. They are online reading books that we've created for you for this interactive learning program. On the left are the chapters. Five theories of cooking. When you know these, you'll know how to cook. Notice that every time a word is highlighted, it takes you to the glossary, which brings you immediately the definition of how we want you to think about the word. And our terminology is very specific to this creative style of cooking. Going back into the classroom, I'd like to point out that the videos are another component. Now, this is a large part of the course for you to watch and study. And when you want to spend an hour, you can look at how long it takes for each of the videos. It's important to go through this program from the top to the bottom, and then to review at your leisure back and forth. Because the logic is set up for each piece of information. A three-minute lecture on salt and the reason we use salt is important to know before we go into the function of oil, for example. Let's go down to Unit 2, Art of Cooking Whole Grain. I'm going to click here so it comes right up. This is the one I'm studying this week. I'm going to bring it right up to the front. Again, we have units to read. Here's a textbook to read. We can also look at charts and other documents. Meet the grains. What I'd like to point out is in the videos, they're very easy to download while you're waiting. You can stop it here and it will continue to load if you have a slower server. We have both lecture and close-up of the techniques. Oh, we got Jake in here. We don't need that.
a very important part of taking this course is for you to go in and do actual cooking methods. Take something from our recipe sketches that we've demonstrated and follow it exactly or invent your own. When you do invent your own, you can see what other people do by going into the action section down here. So this is the third part of your training. There's reading, videos, and action. And when you click this little icon, which looks like a microphone, it's sharing a database. And you come in here to add your entry. I'm going to invent a dish on paper here. And we're going to begin with quinoa. And I think I'll dry roast it and then saute it. If I'm going to saute, I need to use an oil. I'll let people know what I used. And I did a little red onion for decorative. And then there were no herb spices. But in this first stage, I decided to pressure cook. And the cooking liquid I used was a little bit of major cooking liquid would be water and a little bit of, let's say, lemon juice. I decided not to take it to a second stage, so I'm going to save that. And now your teacher can see it, and so can your classmates. When you go to view the entire list, you get to make a comment. This is the one I just added. So you might want to add a comment here and simply say that you used a nut sauce with this dish, or there was something about it that you had a question, and this is where your teachers can get back to you. This is the comment box. This dish was great, but, whoops, but boring. I tried it with a nut sauce. It helped. So at this point, we get to all see your comments. And then somebody else can make a comment in tandem with that. So it's really fun to see what people around the world are cooking in different parts of the country. Going back to the course, I just want to review what your options are. You have the option of reading books, dialoguing. When you see this little icon, it's a book. When you see this, it's a people. You're going to be talking to your classmates. These are introductions of people that are in the class. You'll be reading. You'll be watching videos, and you'll be sharing your dishes with others. You can also take a quiz. These are very easy to answer, and you get immediate results. That looks confusing. Don't worry about it. When you want to go to another class, if you're taking the knife skills, you can simply go to your courses over here on the left, these sidebars. Go to the courses and scroll down to the one you're enrolled in. Visual Rhythm is the knife class. And begin with the process of watching your videos. I hope you'll enjoy taking this class and that you'll want to join us for energetics of food and our protein classes as they come up.